Hello YouTube, Varix here, and I am going to be starting my Shogun Total War 2 Let's Play series. My plan as of right now is to do Rise of the Samurai, and then Shogun 2, and then Fall of the Samurai in that order. I will play at least one campaign uh, of each. I'm planning on doing domination campaigns throughout. So it sounds good, and that's what I would like to do. I might do other factions as well, depending on if people have requests. I know this game has been out for a number of years. We already have Rome Total War 2 out, and they've announced Antilla. Um, but for those of you that are a fan of the Total War games, some of the older ones, um, including this one, uh, hopefully this will provide you some entertainment. The way I look at it is, is if it, uh, one person likes the videos that I put up, then that's motivation enough for me to continue. I am going to take my time with these campaigns. Um, obviously, the domination campaigns gives you more time to build up. But also, for those that uh, have never played Total War games, maybe just like watching these kind of games on YouTube uh, and have not played themselves, uh, I'm going to go a little bit slower. I'm going to explain things. I'm going to record cutscenes, um, dialogues, and whatnot. So if you like these videos simply for the battles, and the, uh, the strategy of, of taking over the map, then you can feel free to fast forward um, through you know, any of the cutscenes that you've already seen a million times before. I realize that there have been a lot of other people that have done their own uh, Total War II uh, Let's Plays, uh, and I have seen some of them all on YouTube. I just wanted to add my own take to the mix. Um, I am very enthusiastic about this project. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and it'll be interesting to see what people think uh, in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and start a new campaign for Rise. Okay, so for anybody that has not played this campaign, or maybe it's been a while, you can see that you have three clans, the Minamoto, the Taira, and the Fujiwara, and each clan has two, I guess you can call them sub-clans. Uh, I'm very big into... All things Japanese, whether it be history, culture, um, you know, all the samurai movies, kaiju movies, anime, everything. So I, I like samurai a lot. So I think I'm going to focus with one of the two Miyamoto clans. You can see the starting positions here, the two bright green spots for the, for the uh, Kamakura Miyamoto clan. And then a little bit further north, you have the Kiso Minamoto. And each uh, clan has their own bonuses. Looking at this one, I see I get plus 10 reload for uh, archers and s samurai units. That's great. The first samurai Bushido art is mastered. That's great. Strategy genius plus 20 rate of which Bushido arts are mastered. I like that a lot. And I also like that there's a, uh, a negative 20 to upkeep cost for samurai units. That's going to help me field... Uh, hopefully more powerful samurai armies in the long run. I said I was going to play Domination, so we're going to go ahead and set that there. Video game difficulty we're going to set for very difficult. We're going to go ahead and start the campaign. I am going to be recording uh, everything, like I was saying. So for those of you that have seen it a million times, feel free to fast forward. I've only played completely through Rise of the Samurai once, and I believe I played a Fujiwara clan uh, at that point. So it almost feels like I'm playing this game for the first time. I don't remember a lot. So as we go through the campaign together, we'll be learning. Uh, we'll be learning together. It should be a fun journey. The Sengoku Jidai was a time of war, but those who say Japan has never seen the like have short memories. Long before the Ashikaga Shogunate, 400 years of peace were shattered by the Genpei War. A 
Amaterasu, the sun goddess, watched over the emperors of Japan and gave them power. Their authority was absolute. An emperor could retire from the world and still have complete mastery over Japan. But now, imperial might is crumbling, weakened by three noble families. For many years, the Taira have secretly controlled the imperial court. Sophisticated, cunning, ruthless, they plot against any challengers to their hidden power. The Minamoto are proud warriors. Their pleasure is battle. That and the destruction of their enemies. The Fujiwara were once the most powerful family in Japan. But now, they only dream of power. After years of careful planning, the Taira are finally ready to make their move. The Miyamoto intend to block with all their might. Meanwhile, the Fujiwara watch and wait. Perhaps this moment is a chance to right wrongs. The Imperial peace is at an end. War is coming and blood will flow. We are the Minamoto, forced into exile by the Taira, following their overthrow of the Fujiwara Regency. We have since grown strong, driven by our hatred for our old enemies. In recent times, the Taira have become weak, preoccupied by the intrigue of court life at the expense of the realm. However, their support is waning and even the imperial household is beginning to question the liberties that have been taken. We must rally the people against their Taira oppressors and would do well to remember the Fujiwara. As outcasts to the north, they are waiting for their chance to seize power again. No matter, while they make fine poets and politicians, they are no match for us on the battlefield. The Minamoto will rise. The three great clans of the Genpei War are each split into two families. The principal object of the campaign game is to achieve hegemony over the other major families and minor lords, either through conquest or by spreading our family's influence throughout the provinces. Fame still gauges how powerful and dangerous our family is perceived as being within Japan. But there is no shogunate to overthrow in order to achieve victory. If we become too powerful, Emperor Go Shirakawa will declare us an enemy of the state, at which point all other families will move to attack us including our sister family. Okay, so starting off, we are in southern Japan here. We have two pro uh, provinces, Izu and uh, Sagami. We have one agent that we can use right now. Agents have a variety of uses. You can use to stop enemy agents, um, imprison or, or kill um, Monomi and other agents. Uh, agents that the enemy will throw at you. You can put them in your army and they'll provide uh, uh, some benefits there. You can put them inside of your city where they'll act as a police force or they can travel around the land and you can use them to convert provinces to your side. So taking my agent here and just taking a look at him, he's 39 years old. Uh, he, hasn't ha he doesn't have any ranks yet or retainers which are, which are skills that will help him later on. Uh, but he'll get those over time. We're going to use him as a scout for now. We're going to go ahead and move up here. We're going to patrol to the north a little bit here. Uh, looking at my army here, I can see I have a general. 
My army isn't particularly strong. Uh, General Norayori. We've got some sword attendants. They're okay. Navi, na, uh, excuse me. Naganagi. I can't pronounce that. Naginata Levy. Some bow attendants and some bow levy. Levy units are the weakest of the bunch. Uh, we'll be trying to replace those in time. Or it, maybe if they level up fast enough, we'll keep them. We'll see how that goes. And I see that we have our general, Yoritomo. He's our daimyo, the head of our clan. So looking at the mini-map here, my tentative plan for now is to focus on taking out this half of Japan first um, before I move on against the Tyra. But that, that you know, all strategy is flexible. Um, and subject to change. It just depends on the actions of our enemies and the actions of ourselves. Um, from what I understand, this game focuses a lot more on diplomacy and it focuses on trying to convert provinces to your side. Uh, just taking over and steamrolling through massive amounts of territory may not necessarily be the best goal. Uh, I don't know yet. I've never played the Miyamoto. They are focused on warfare and samurai. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Looking at Izu here, I see that I have a gold mine. That's great for income. I start off with uh, 2,000 koku, and I can see next turn I'll be earning 1,058. I have no food as of this point. Uh, that's something I'm going to have to fix. Food is very important to this game and to uh, Vanilla Shogun 2 Total War. Let's take a look at the farms here. Okay, I can upgrade to pastures or dry field agriculture. Pastures are great if you have cavalry, which I do not, and I don't think I'm going to put cavalry in this territory. So, And it only provides one food. If I do dry field, it provides two food, and it gives me 340 wealth. So I think that's what I'm going to pick right there for that one. I'm also going to upgrade to a port. I think. Let me double check here. Maybe not. Okay, as you upgrade your castle town, you can build more and more buildings. For now, I can build one. I have an agent. I believe I ha that means I have a barter exchange, yes. I do not have a barter exchange. Okay. If I build a clan estate, it's going to give me a uh, Shibaryoshi, which is, I guess, it's an earlier version of the Geisha. Um, let's see, plus five tax rate. That's good. Okay, let me see what else I can build. If I build a Buddhist uh, sanctuary, I can build a So, which is a priest or a monk. That'll give me happiness to the clan. That's great. But I kind of need money to start off with. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and pick a barter exchange. Uh, if I can recruit two of these agents and put them in a territory, it may help me to convert a territory to my side faster, so that's not a bad way to start things off. Let's see if I have enough for any units. I do not. I'll have to build an army next time. All right, let's take a look at our clan. So we have to hold 60 territories including these territories such as Kyoto, Ugo, Setsu, and so forth. And we have to do this by 1219, by year 1219. That's our goal there. We have one ally right now, and that's our sister clan, the Kiso Minamoto. Just because they're our ally clan doesn't mean they won't turn against us. They have the same goals we do. So if we start taking over their territories um, or territories that they want, they will probably uh, come after us as well. So my goal is to get more money and to get more food, and that's, we're going to start with that. Okay, you can see my daimyo and his wife, Misako. Okay, so I can see that the, uh, um, the daimyo has a brother, two brothers. Uh, this brother is in charge of the, uh, com he's the commissioner for warfare. You can see the loyalty here. So he's very loyal, that's great. The less loyal, the more trouble your generals could have. They could defect uh, to the enemy, they could try and form their own clan. Um, so th the more loyal, the better off they are. But he's only rank one, it's because the campaign just started. The more battles we put him through, the stronger he'll get. 
my daimyo has honor. The more honor you have, the better off, the better received you are by other clans. So we're going to work on getting his honor up and his rank. He's still young, so we've got lots, lots of time to do things with him. And because he is not of uh, age yet, uh, Yoshisune is not, uh, is not eligible to become a general on the battlefield yet, but that will change. Let's go ahead and look at diplomacy. There's several clans that we can, um, that we can trade with already. The Takeda, that makes sense. They're very friendly towards us already. It I is don't see why not to trade. It is heartening to see. So that's great for still us. Still exists in these treacherous times, my friend. All right, we're already uh, allied with our other clan. Let's go to the Fujiwari. Fujiwara. Welcome, noble friend. They're open for a there trade agreement as well. Discuss. That's for great. Mutual benefit. So, my friend, of what do you wish to talk? I'm hesitant to try and form alliances right now. A, a lot of these single territory clans will get knocked out fairly quickly, and it could draw me into a war that I don't necessarily want to be in right away. So, I'm not going to go for an alliance, but I am going to go for more trade. Even Edo, uh, uh, which at this point was a sleepy little fishing village uh, and would be until after the um, Warring States period in which Tokugawa would turn that into the largest uh, city in the world during the 17th century. Uh, but for right now, Edo is just a little sleeping village, um, more or less. Uh, they are unfriendly towards me, but I'm willing to bet they'll trade with me. Say what you must. And they will. But my heart tells me not to listen with hope. You don't have to listen, you just have to accept, and they will. Against all reason. All right, so now we've got trade with all four of these clans. I don't know how long they're going to last, but uh, the extra income will be nice. So you can see my income went up by uh, uh, over 200 koku for next turn, so that's good. That we'll need that money. Last but not least, let's look at the Bushido arts. You can see that the Minamoto are warrior-focused, so I've already got uh, Bushi. Which allows me to record, uh, I'm sorry, recruit foot samurai. I am going to want to go for Way of the Bow and for uh, Naginata soldiers as well. But looking over here at the Bunka Arts, if I pick this one, that gives me plus four to diplomatic relations and it increased tariffs, which is what I need. I need money right now. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that first before I switch back over to the Budo Arts. Okay. This territory is happy as an enemy army there. It has the daimyo in it. This territory is not happy. It's not rebelling. But the public order is exactly at zero. I'm going to have to do more for it. Uh, growth next season is negative one. We want to fix that. Uh, you can adjust the tax income rate. The lower the tax income rate, the happier the people are, but the less money you have. So we're going to leave it in the middle for right now. And you can see that I have, as I said before, I have a gold mine. So that's great. That'll help us out a lot. All right, we're going to go ahead and end the first turn. Okay, we have our first mission, the Minamoto Cause. Obtain the allegiance of any province. If I do that, what do I get? I get plus 10 actions to my agents. Okay. Okay. Well, that sounds like a fairly sweet deal. I've got my agent here already. I have a 71% chance of requesting allegiance. It'll cost me 818 koku. Right, let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> my agent was executed. That's not good. Um, wow. Okay. Okay, looks like I, I can't build another one for two more turns. That was a little bit of a setback. I hadn't expected that, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep going from there. All right, what can I do? I can upgrade a port. 200 wealth. 100 wealth. Military port. We'll go with a military port for now. And one more turn for the... Bunka art, so we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and end that turn.
All right, so we've mastered that first art. Let's go back into our arts here, and we're going to go and we're going to focus on Koryu, and then we're going to go to Way of the Bow. And I apologize, I am a fan of Japanese culture, as I said. Uh, I am not, however, uh, a linguist, uh, and some of these Japanese names I know I'll be pronouncing wrong. I'll try and get it right wherever I can. Uh, some of you probably know it, uh, the words a lot better than I do. Um, so please just bear with me. Okay, one more turn there. I can upgrade this to a town watch if I want. I'm not focused on that right now. I do want to increase my army, and I do want to increase my home territory. Okay, let's go ahead and do that to Town Watch. We're going to do that. And then the third turn. Okay, winter has come. This is cool. I like this. Okay, I can build an armor, a blacksmith building. Uh, let's see. Okay, I can get plus two armor and plus three melee attack or plus one armor, plus four melee attack. I'm going to go with this one. Defense and attack, that sounds sweet to me. We'll go ahead and go with that one. Not leaving us, us with very much money, but uh, I want to go ahead and get that started so I can start building up my army. My port will be ready next turn. Uh, I'll record one of the, uh, I'm sorry, recruit one of these. Actually, you know what? Let me do that in reverse. I'll build that next time. I want to go ahead and recruit one of these guys so I can start moving him next turn. We'll go ahead and recruit a unit here. We'll go ahead and recruit some Naginata Levy. We'll save some money for next turn. Two more turns for Koryu, okay. You can see all the clans going by, there's still a lot. I'm surprised we haven't seen any being knocked out yet. Uh, that's, that's interesting, but good for me as far as trade. Okay. okay, so the Tyra, oh, they're very strong, they have very strong faction with the Tyra. Let me take a look here, oh, they are 97% in favor of my clan, so maybe I'll try again up there, that wouldn't be bad. I'm going to go ahead and build this building now. Going to recruit some more units. I'll probably save some to recruit some bow attendants. They're better. Uh, looking at their, looking at the unit stats. Um, yeah, they are a little bit better. So we'll go. We'll wait for that. I realize that I'm uh, not doing a lot per turn here. Uh, that may come back to bite me later on. But I'm still hoping that we can uh, make something happen here. I am going to go ahead and put some uh, Navi Na Nadi. I, I will get this right before I'm finished with this series. Nagi Nata Levi. I'm going to go ahead and build one of them here. And that will uh, uh, make the people a little bit happier or at least a little bit more repressed in this region. Way of the Bow is now being uh, researched. Alright. Let's request allegiance and see how that goes.
All right, I have one food supply right now. Let's see what I can do here. Upgrade to foot samurai. Yes, please. That sounds good to me. This clan is now, ha I mean, uh, this territory is now happier. I need to get a ship going so that I can explore more territory. You can see the fog of war throughout. Uh, the, the further I explore, the more access I'll have to other clans and hopefully trade. So we'll get that started next turn. Let's see what we can make happen. So, uh, request allegiance. All right, we got this. Excellent. Okay, so now we've taken this territory. Okay, and we also completed this mission. So we get plus 10 uh, chance of success for our agents. That's excellent. Okay, now we have three territories. That's excellent, excellent, excellent news. Let's take a look at Edo. They've left their territory defenseless. But if I attack, that would leave me defenseless. They've got a stronger army. I can't see what they have. Let's look at Edo. Edo's have uh, just me as trade partners. They have no one else. I'll probably start beefing up my army. Uh, I was going to build a ship. A samurai large ship. I don't know if I need something like that right now. Let's start off with an intended light ship. We'll start off with just one ship for now. We'll recruit some cannon fodder for now. The more men you have, the more their upkeep is. So you can see each unit costs 95 koku. I'm sorry. For the Naginata levy, each uh, keep is 58. So they're good for uh, stopping horses. Um, and they're also good for cannon fodder, which is what I'm going to use them for. I don't care if in my first battle I lose a couple of them. I'm going to be upgrading my armies as soon as I can anyway. Okay, they have returned to Musashi. Right, we're going to go ahead and start exploring. I already have encountered a new clan, the Chiba. Let's see if they'll trade with me. They will not. And they are unfriendly, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and put our agent down here. Let's upgrade these farms as well. I will probably try and recruit ca recruit cavalry from this territory, so I am going to go ahead and pick this one. Let's go ahead and put the whole army in here. I'll need to build up my forces a little bit more. Uh, now that I've got my agent in here, it is raising my faction with this clan. Um, I'm going to try and recruit another one. I don't think I can right now. I cannot, but that's okay. Um, I'll probably end up attacking Edo. I don't. I. I can't sit here and wait um, for that. For for their my fa their favor, uh, my their favor towards me to rise. That would just take too long. Um, I don't even think I'd finish the campaign at that rate. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Kajiwara. Maybe I'll reach out to an alliance with them. Let me see. They are kind of guarding my border. Speak, and I will listen. Let's see if, if they'll I go for help, it, make an alliance. I will no, they will not. That's okay. All right, let's end this turn.
All right, North Shinanano. My lord, as the show of support, the lord of this province has provided us with troops. Excellent. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, always helpful. I will never turn down some uh, Naginata attendants. They're better than Levy, so that's excellent. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I feel like I'm going way too slow. But uh, that's okay for now, I suppose. We've encountered a couple other clans. Let's take a look. I thought I was trading with you. Wow. I will listen to your words. All right. I cannot trade with anybody else right now. That's okay. It's time to really beef up this army, I think. Let's get some more sword attendants. And we'll get another unit of bow levy. We'll save the rest of the income. I like how you can see the people carrying supplies back and forth across your territories. They got, uh, you know, whether they're carrying wood or, or grain or in sacks, that's kind of cool. Little attention to detail. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. Right, my monk, I'm sorry, my agent increased in rank. Let's go ahead and level him up. Plus one to cunning and spreading influence. Yes, we will take that and max that out. That's great. And let's look here. Plus one cunning when overseeing armies. Plus ten, ch oh, okay. Or minus ten chance to getting assassinated. I like that. We'll go with that one. Okay, our faction is rising, but again, not nearly fast enough for uh, for my tastes. Okay, I really want to recruit a so. Uh, I would like one of each agent starting off the bat, um, but. Uh, We'll have to work towards that. I see a son was born. That's that's great. My daimyo and his wife are doing exactly what they need to do. Securing the future of our clan. That's awesome. A clan was destroyed. Oh, Chiba was destroyed. Okay. All right, we got to really start moving here. I can recruit foot samurai. I will be recruiting foot samurai. That's great. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, phase of the battle. I'm sorry, the campaign. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to go about these campaigns. I think everybody has their own um, strategies, their own way of doing it. Um, oh, okay. I'm in Fujiwara territory now. That's okay. They do not want to trade. That's fine. I'll just focus on upgrading my own forces here. So you can see my up, uh, my income is plummeting uh, as a result of um, building all these units. Foot samurai are expensive. They're up uh, 143. I will build. Let me well. Let me take a look at my army here. I have a number of bow units already. Maybe I'll recruit. Another unit of sword instead. We'll go with that for now. Maybe they will speak. Maybe if and I get I will them listen. military if access. If I can help, I will try to do so. Excellent. Okay. So they're not a popular, I mean, a, a powerful clan, uh, the Segura, but if they can at least guard my flank there for now, that's great. I'm going to 
build up this army and attack the uh, the Edo here. Pay off. Well, I can pay off their monk. I don't want to do that. Our faction with them just isn't rising fast enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. One more turn before that is finished. I wonder if I can see what their army is made up of. I still cannot. It's okay. What can I build here? Naginata attendants, warrior monks. I ha already have a Koryu school, I believe. Maybe I do not. go with that. Although... That territory is utterly defenseless and so is this one, although I am allied, so I'm not as concerned about Izu. Kai, on the other hand, I am going to go ahead and upgrade this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that. And build one more, and I think my arm will be ready to get into some battles on the next turn. him in well we'll leave him there for one more turn we'll have him join the army in a minute all right let's take a look Alright, looks like my army is just about ready. I wonder if it has to be above 50% to request allegiance. Maybe if I wait one more turn, perhaps. We'll go ahead and do that. One or two more turns. You see the Fujiwara are uh, expanding up north. They're expanding southward. Hmm. Don't see any of the Tyra yet, which is good. Okay, let's see. Justice. A notorious Brigand. The satisfied populace. I don't want my people unhappy. It would give me a Manami, which is a ninja. Uh, I guess a pre-ninja. Okay. Oh, that's going to take a lot of money. <laughs> I don't have that kind of income. Uh, to request their allegiance. So we are going to go ahead and declare war. Time and honor I will not request my allies coming. What? That's okay. I see the enemy. They have a lot of Naginata levy. I'm going to lay siege. We'll let them uh, come out after us. We'll go ahead and let him oversee the army. attendant. We'll go ahead and let that keep training.
Hopefully they'll come out and meet us on the field of battle. Otherwise, I'm more than happy to starve them out. Aha, here we go. They will be attacking us. Uh, they outnumber us. They got a lot of bow units, but um, I've got a fair number of bow units myself. So we'll, uh, we'll see what kind of ground we look at here, and let's get this battle started. I do have the graphics uh, for this game set on the absolute max. Uh, it does give just a little bit of extra load time, but I think it's worth it. Hmm. Looks like there's some very good ground here on the battlefield. We'll take a look when we get in. Okay, they did pick to attack during a rainstorm, but that's okay. We'll let the general uh, say what he wants to. Mono <laughs> いつの日か歌人が魂歌にして読んでくれることじゃろう。Alright, there was a b uh, brief uh, graphic glitch there, but overall, I think it was a, a motivating speech. Uh, hopefully the soldiers will do their job well. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. That's some good ground. I would very much like to have this ground. It'll make it difficult for them to reach me up here. That's not a bad idea. If I take this hilltop formation, uh, take formation on top of this hilltop. Um, rules of war, take the high ground whenever possible. And the enemy is attacking me. Let's go ahead and see what formation I want them to be in. Missile heavy defense formation. I can always modify it later. I'll stick with that for now. The uh, flying bird. We will let the enemy come to us. We'll move our army right here. And we're going to make our way up to the hill. The uh, trees should give us some cover from the enemy archers since they have more of them. Um... The enemy will also be tired out coming uphill, so let's go ahead and get this battle started. And move all of our units up here. We're going to have to run, but that's okay. Hmm. Okay, the enemy are moving out. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it here so I don't bore you guys. Well, the enemy, I mean, well, our army gets into position. I think we'll do pretty good this, uh, this battle. Time will tell. They have a lot of cannon fodder. I'm going to position my generals on each flank to give overlapping coverage. going to go ahead and move out. Let's group up all of our Naginatas. We 
this hill isn't as good as I thought it was going to be. There we go. Get my archers into position. Some reason I can only position them uh, in loose formation one at a time. I don't know if that's a, a glitch. The enemy are coming in. It's okay. We're going to inspire this unit. We're also going to inspire this unit. We will move my sword units down here, get them in position. Whistling arrows, we'll try that. It will have a slight effect on morale of my own troops as well, more so on theirs. And that's okay. They're hitting hard on this side. I'm going to go ahead and strike down. We are trying to come up here. area I'm most concerned about. Oh, the unit that's already routed. Let's see if we can make them rally. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. We're pushing back down the hill here. not want them coming up the hill at all. Some of these units to route. Looks like they may be on the verge over here. If I can wrap up this side, I can roll up their flank. I just need my armies here to hold out. Like I was saying before, I'm okay with taking losses. Let's see if we can hit their general. Help us out a little bit. All right, my units are pushing down the hill. That's great. Focus on their general now. Over here, the battle is not yet decided. My general is being shot at. It's okay. Hit them from behind. Their general has fallen. A cutting blow. That's great that we took out the enemy general. I'm very pleased about that. We're not quite done yet with the mop up, though. A 
my foot samurai have got a good my attack. Lord, yeah. a glorious no need. Will soon be yours. All right, the enemy is routing. Their general is broken. Let's end that battle. Probably could have fought that one better. Um, but uh, it was a little bit difficult seeing in the rain and through the trees. But it was still a victory all the same. Hopefully my uh, success at fighting battles will get better from uh, this point on. But hey, a victory is a victory. Okay, so you can see the enemy killed 654 of my men, and I killed uh, 1,864 of theirs. I do outnumber them. Let's look at the battle details. My generals both got uh, decent kills. One of my sword attendants cleaned up, 123. Another one got 126. That's excellent. Got some ranking up, which is important. That's exactly what I want for my armies. It's good. The unit that routed is still alive. That's excellent. My units are still in good shape for fighting. I am going to keep laying siege to them. I will make them attack me again. There will be plenty of battles where I will go on the offensive. However, however in this case, uh, and given that we're just starting off, um, I want to take Edo um, defensively. Okay. not making much money per turn. I really do need to save what money I do have. They will surrender in two turns. We're going to go ahead and end this turn. My agent is gaining uh, experience as he is attached to this army. Let's go ahead and end this turn. I think I forgot about my naval ship up there. I'll have to worry about that. All right, so now they are attacking. Excellent. We'll meet them on the field of battle. Looks like it's the exact same map as before. I probably won't move to the hills this time. I'll stay on the open plain, adopt a uh, open battle formation. Uh, this shouldn't be hard for us to take them out, especially with our archers. I don't know if I'm going to play every general speech. We'll start this one. I don't think he's going to say anything different, and if he doesn't, we'll skip it. お家の心情に従い、愚かな真似はせず、あの馬鹿どもの地獄行きを手助けしてやれば、今日はきっと良い日になる。Flush from victory, the army's ready to fight again. All right, we're just going to go ahead and skip it. There's that graphics, graphics glitch again. I don't know why. All right, but uh, I'm sure it was a rousing speech, and the soldiers are ready to fight. Let's go ahead and arrange our army. Let's see if I want to do the flying bird missile. Heavy defense. You know what? I don't think we're going to do that. We'll go to missile heavy attack formation. We're going to meet the enemy on the open field. I realize I out outnumber them decisively. That's okay. Flanks. Let's 
my archer should be opening up with fire arrows. That's great. I don't know if I had that if I had that research last turn or not. If so, I should have used it. Shame on me. Let's open up with fire arrows and whistling arrows. Let's send in the ground forces. We'll attack from this flank. General is going to attack as well. We'll bring the general up here. We'll bring my other general over here. This will be a long battle at all. We'll let my generals get some kills on that bow levy while we take out the rest of their army. We're attacking from the front and the side. This won't be a long battle. Go ahead and let him get run down. Well, maybe not. You know what? I do like to chase the enemy after battle to inflict more damage, but in this case, I'll just go ahead and end this battle. Decisive victory. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, I will be very surprised if Edo doesn't fall. If not, we'll uh, go ahead and auto resolve the third battle and take that, and that will be uh, that'll be our buffer state against uh, any Fujiwari advances. For anybody that ends up watching this uh, and enjoying it, please feel free to leave comments. I will uh, review them. This is my first Let's Play, so I'm probably not as polished uh, as, some of, uh, as some of the other people that do these kind of videos. But uh, there's a first time for everything. All right, let's see. So they only inflicted 120 casualties. That's great. They do have some men remaining, but that's okay. One of my generals leveled up. Hopefully it's my daimyo. They want a peace treaty. Enough. <laughs> yeah, right. Men. I'm going to take this territory. General increased in rank. It was my daimyo. That's excellent. All right, leader or warrior. Plus one defense. I think I'm going to go with this one for now. I want my radius to be bigger. I want more of my men uh, motivated by my general's presence. Let's hire a retainer. Let's see. Plus one melee attack for this general and his bodyguard, plus or negative two chance to being assassinated, or plus one to my general's honor. I'm going to go with that one, I think. We are going to go ahead and take. We're going to auto resolve this. Uh, I did lose one of my Naginata levy, but that's okay. They're fodder units anyway. And we have gained this territory. You have a choice of how you want to occupy it. I can make it a vassal. Um, I don't generally do that. They have to surpri survive, uh, supply us with a military unit and, uh, you know, trade as well as um, tax each round. Uh, you can loot it. That will damage your honor. The, it will piss off the people that survive, but it will give you money. I like to peacefully occupy just about all of my territories. Um, that is going to raise my income, and the people will be happier for it. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and repair this castle. So you can see my income did jump. I'm probably going to disband. Let's see. I'm going to disband a couple units, I think. Yes, I have this sword attendant unit join me. Defensively, I'm strong. You can see this uh, this bar here. If anybody attacked me, I would receive additional units. Uh, can I build anything yet? No, not yet. I'll have some decent income this upcoming turn. I do need to start focusing on a navy, I think. Uh, but that will come 
soon enough. A market. I guess I'll go ahead and build this right now. Okay. I feel like I'm a little bit behind the power curve here. Um, do I want to enlist a new general for a thousand? I don't think so right now because I only have one army anyway. Can I recruit? No, I cannot. Okay. I can recruit a so, and that's excellent. That will help. I'm going to recruit that there. Let's take a look. Unfriendly and hostile, that's not good. But I can probably trade with them. Cast your words up on the breeze. If I offer you Perhaps access. they will drift past my ear. No. Okay. I doubt you're going to trade with me. Oh, you will. Speak. All right. If you must. All right, Yuki. I will accept trade with you. Or you accept a trade with me, rather. So that's good. The Nita. I bet I can trade with them. That's Come, good. Come, be seated. All right. So that's going to help my income some. I've noticed these clans because I'm expanding. I really am going to need to take out Yuki um, and these other territories over here. I really need to shore up this flank. I know that the Fuji, uh, Fujimashi, uh, Fujimari are going to be gaining str uh, strength. So can inspire a friendly army or pacify an angry populace with their enlightened rhetoric. And by the same token, Demoralize an enemy force. Reduce the chances of successful bribery. Indoctrinate enemy agents and cause them to retire. Or incite an enemy population to revolt. So are recruited via the Buddhist chain of buildings. The trusting nature of this man makes him highly susceptible to assassination by monomi, payoffs from junsatsushi, or seduction by shirabyoshi. Okay, that's a little bit about the so there. I apologize. I didn't know she was going to be speaking, and I, I wanted people who have not played this game to, to get the full experience. Um, beneath the mini-map here, uh, or beside it as well, you can see that uh, because I executed the brigand, the people are happy. Uh, my towns are growing, and uh, I got plus two to happiness in all the territories I own. Looking right here, you can see my overall objectives. My goal is by uh, 1219 to have all the cities that I need here, including Kyoto, which means we're going to be uh, fighting the, um, uh, the Tyra. This tab lists the clans whose territory neighbors your own. That's and pretty self explanatory. About the diplomatic relations between you. Okay, there's my daimyo. My armies. Okay. Really only have one real army to speak of. I only have one ship of my navy. Oh, yeah. I guess I should keep sailing around. There is a trade point up here. Let's just go ahead and take them up here. It's, I'm sure it's capped already, but we'll take a look there. You see my, my provinces. Uh, this is cool for uh, as, uh, taking a look and seeing what I have and what other people have. So you can see I've got a plus to food supplies. So that's great. I got four territories. That's a good start. This and you can also see my two agents, agents that I have. Currently operating in our clan. Their available action points, current positions, and names. Alrighty, we're going to end this turn. Sorted by Okay, making decent income now. I 
I've got two extra food supply, which is good. Oh, expertise. Two more, two more rounds before that's finished. And then I will probably start focusing on... I need more farms. I need more food. So that's probably going to be my game plan for that. I am going to upgrade this to a stronghold because this is my um, most extreme territory out here and I need to create a buffer between enemy units from this side. Go ahead and end this turn. Okay, I'm obviously going to go with my allies here against the aggressor, the Tyra. They're making their move. Okay. Okay, I'm probably going to stop recording for now. That's enough uh, for one day. Um, we'll start here on the next, uh, the next recording. Please tell me what you think, if you like, what you didn't like, if you have any suggestions uh, for future um, moves in this game, just let me know. And uh, I'll be looking forward to hearing your comments. This is Varg signing off for now.